And what's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Destiny Blind. I'm Shadow Dragonic, and I am joined today by Slow, who is one of my subscribers on YouTube, and he has uh, been nice enough to join me here to do some strike missions. So, what's up, Slow? Hey, how's it going, how's it going? Alright, so we're going to run the summoning pits first, which is level 10 strike, which is super easy, or should be super easy. And I guess we'll just go from there and do whatever. See what we can get into. But Slow has been nice enough to fill me in on a whole bunch of things, obviously, because I'm still a, a noob and very stupid when it comes to a lot of stuff. So thank you for that, Slow. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. I think you'll find a lot of the Destiny community is uh, really willing to help out people that are new to the game and, and uh, just get them through, get them some cool stuff. Yeah, I've noticed that. I mean, most of the most of the people that are subscribed to my channel have been very helpful, and you know, just messages and tell me what I could do, and it's helped out quite a bit. Obviously, oh, it, yeah. it doesn't help my Definitely skill, helps. but you know, <laughs> that's on me. Something dark yeah, it's always been a really good community, and just eat it, even uh, meeting random people, just even doing raids and stuff like that. I made some great friends. Uh, we must pierce the veil of random people and getting to know them, and uh, destroy running around with them. It's pretty cool. The it's always been, it's been a very kind community uh, as long as I've been involved in it. Been a, two years. a lot longer than me. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I mean, you know, I, I bought this game, and then it's like right after I bought it, you know, everybody started talking about Destiny 2, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's about that about that time. We're all pretty excited to see what uh, Bungie has next for us. I know. I, I am, too. I mean, in, in a way, I'm kind of hoping that they'll let us take our characters over and just kind of, you know, advance, I guess, on our on our previous characters, but... At the same time, I kind of want to start over again. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if our character guys will carry over. I think it's going to be more of a uh, complete fresh start. Um, if you don't know much about the grimoire level, uh, you've been getting cards you know, while you're playing and whatnot. Um, and these accumulate, so that kind of gives an indication of your uh, experience level. So people There's are no kind telling of, how far uh, down we'll have to go to find the summoning pits. Not really upset, I guess, but concerned to the fact that they would really like their grimoire to carry over to Destiny 2, just so they can be identified as as a seasoned player uh, and not somebody you know, that's just completely brand new to the game. So it's kind of a, I guess, a badge of honor, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so there's been some some talk about that. to get through. I'll try to open that gate. You'd be so kind as to put your ghost through the door. Sure thing. That's something else I'm going to have to do eventually too. Is find all the find all the ghosts. <clears throat> yeah, and that's actually a really good way to uh, to level up your grimoire as well. Uh, there are lots of hidden ghosts. So, uh, so I know you're, you like to play blind, which is awesome. Um, but there are there's lots of uh, online. Uh, some of these are not are, are not just in control areas. Uh, they can be certain stripes or certain story uh, missions to be able to access some of these hidden things. So there's lots and lots of resources online. So. Um, don't want to be spoilers, by all means, but, um, <laughs> 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 but 
bother with me. Right. Some of them are very well hidden. <laughs> no I mean, like I said, I, I have looked up some stuff, you know, weapon wise and whatnot. But besides that, I try and keep at least the story, the story portion of it blind. Right. Yeah. I'm starting to sense a pattern. Shouldn't be long. Man, I know you can run everything. Uh, I know once you hit a certain light, you can start running stuff on like hard mode and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Sounds like we're getting closer. Yep, I got a thing here for something. What was it? Yeah, it popped up for a split second, and now it's not there anymore. Huh. I had one of those yesterday, too, where it told me to scan a crate, and then my ghost never came back. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes I think they just have a little bit of random information about lore. I've noticed once you scan it once, you can't scan it again, so... Oh, yeah. I know there's some kind of achievement in Grimoire. Yeah, it's probably a Grimoire.
skeleton key. That's the good skeleton key. The chest comes up, they are hunter specific gauntlets. They're track specific gauntlets for the hunter. Finally, the abomination has been destroyed. The vanguard will be grateful. Well, that wasn't too difficult. A creature of the dark has been no. slain. <laughs> and our world spared yeah, another the version. Uh, but how many more but, hive abominations are still out there? But the rewards are higher as well. The so. Right. I fear we may find out all too soon. Yeah. yeah, cause all that all the drops that I got are like way under leveled. Yeah. He's got a 29.45 grimoire. Hey, congratulations. You're actually the first you're the first person in any of my strikes that actually got more kills than me. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to just run over everything, so I was trying to <laughs> no, make it no, easy. <laughs> no, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> that just surprises me, that's all. I mean even even when I do uh <laughs> Even when I do the Prison of Elders, it's like I'm always the one with the most kills. It's like nobody else tries. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll run across people of all kinds. It's, you can just, some you can just walk behind the whole time because they're, they're going to annihilate everything in front of them. And they're just that good. Right. And there's people that just, you'll get some that, unfortunately, you'll get some people, especially in some of the strike playlists where. They don't really participate, you know. They'll let everybody else do all the work just so they can get to the rewards, you know. Right. Well, unfortunately, you you'll come across people like that from time to time. Not very often. Most people are, are competitive by nature, and they'll want to get in there and see. They want to get as many kills as possible, and it's just a thing, you know. All right, I gotta try and figure out here real quick. I know it's on camera, but I gotta, I gotta try and figure out real quick how to how to turn my uh, in-game volume down a little bit um, okay. audio game volume let's go yeah that works because I know the, the game volume was kind of Drowning you out a little bit when we were Loud. doing the strike, yeah. Probably should have oh, done. Okay. I, yeah, I probably should have done that before, but that's all right. All right, eh, so let's go ahead it. and since we're already on the moon. Oh, hey, another strike opened up. Huh. What we got? Okay, so here's a question. Since you know I'm I'm stupid and I'm yep. a noob, um, <laughs> when there is a when there is a glowing purple triangle around something, that means that it's still open, right? It's still an active thing. Right. That means that you have a mission somewhere uh, av available to you. Like you have a, you've already picked up a mission from somebody, and that's part of the mission step. Okay. Okay. Um, is to is to go and uh, do whatever it is they want you to do there. Yeah. Okay. Because the summoning pits had that purple triangle on it, and um, I actually think we did this. I did. I think I did the summoning pits before, actually, but that purple that purple triangle is around it. So I thought maybe doing that would complete it. But I, I must have another mission in that area. So. Is the the purple triangle is it highlighted on the summoning pits itself? Strike. It's like, uh, you know, like the glowing triangle. It's like kind of pulsating around it. Okay, around the summoning pits or? Yeah, 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 around itself. the summoning pits, yeah. 
Okay, I'm trying to figure out if it's wanting you be, if you've unlocked the the abomination heist, which is the the harder version of the strike that we just did. Uh, maybe. Um, it may that. Let me let me click real quick. Maybe telling you that's what's up. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah, because it's it's showing um, it's showing set challenge to light of 320, which is considered normal mode. So my guess is right. it's yeah. it's showing me that because I haven't done that yet. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We'll do the summoning pits again. This time I'll probably get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. I'll, 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 uh, I will run off and leave you. Yeah, there's some parts where you have to play a little, um, everybody's a little bit different, but I tend to play a little more conservative in certain areas just because if you run out in the middle, you're gonna get in a bad spot real quick. I mean, you're just gonna get, a, you're gonna get overrun, uh, especially in this particular heist because there's, be, there's gonna be a lot more enemies and Maybe some things you haven't even seen yet. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, that's always uh, that's always a wonderful thing to hear. Yeah, eh, it's experience, right? Oh yeah, definitely. It's better to better to come across something new with somebody who knows what it is than than come across something new and not know what the hell it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing like run, running into a room and you know a, a T Rex or something decides to <laughs> pop out of the closet right. or something. <laughs> it's like oh, okay. That wasn't there the last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, something else on the strikes also, if you get into a playlist and, you know, if you happen to be playing late or something like that, and if it's like right now it was searching for Guardians, if nobody else runs it, a timer will run out where it'll just put you by yourself in there or... Yeah, I've, I've had that happen. Or whatever. Yeah, I've had that happen once or I twice do. too. Yeah. Well, tracking reports of fallen splicers spotted in and around the Hellmouth. Intel suggests they're hunting ogres. Get down there. Make sure they don't snatch up any more fodder for their twisted experience. Actually, this one shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the one in the strike playlist, the heroic strike playlist, is a little bit tougher. It's not really difficult, uh, but, of course, when you're at high light levels, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to manage than uh, if you're on a lower... Right. <clears throat> if you're on a lower light. You know, I just noticed, is, is your ship like a dragon? Or... <laughs> this is actually uh, this is actually a ship from the uh, Crota raid. Uh, so with the upcoming uh, no Age of Triumph stuff, I've just been sporting the, uh, the some Crota related items. Just, for their just why not? To play around mm -hmm. with. At least from behind, it, it looks like a dragon or like a. Yeah, it, it has some very hive features to it. Yeah. <laughs> but when you put it that way, I almost feel bad for the hive. Right here. That's, uh... My god, these guys are actually at a lower level. Yeah, this is still considered a public area right here. Oh, uh, yeah, Anytime yeah. Anytime you yeah. enter the air, air quotes darkness zone, then you're in your own little world. Yeah. So why the hive? But lots of Seems stuff like will start in public areas or, or even have you pass this through public areas. areas. Yeah, because I, I see there's a level 9 guy over there, somebody who's actually a lower level than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool to see if there's still people... Uh... Okay, now if you look through the door, you see that little green burning thing on the ground? Yeah, floor, yeah, right? that, that's like a trap. Okay, very good. I'm yes. sorry, I wasn't sure if you... Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there was one, yeah, there was one mission. I didn't know you could shoot him, but yeah, I, 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 there was one mission where there were yeah. those glowing things on the ground, and I, I did know that they were a trap. Yeah, okay. It's like a like an energy burn trap, so... Yeah. Yeah, no time. So even if you shoot them, they'll come back up. Like, they want to start early. Start right. I did take notice, though, that uh, the wizards, they really don't like those, uh, like, scatter grenades. Like the ones that yeah. I'm using, <clears throat> and all that stuff will be, all the stuff will become more potent to use the light. That just, uh, it's, it's something nice. Uh, with a gunslinger hunter, I tend to like the uh, strip mine grenades. That's just personal taste, you know, everybody's everybody's different. Right. Some grenades in different classes will be more useful than others. So that's just something that you'll, you'll over time. Yeah, that's something that I'll have to. 
because like I said, I haven't. I've used very little of the um, like the Shadow Walker or the Night Stalker, and I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've used. Really handy. I haven't used any of the other one at all. So I mean, I yeah, the Blade Dancer. Yeah, I haven't used anything. So I kind of. Right, I'm gonna put my ghost in here. Alrighty. Um, up here at the top of the uh, gonna be uh, the doors where we were earlier. They're just gonna be a little bit tougher enemies the in here, so. Don't want us or anyone I'll, uh, through this door. We've got incoming. Uh, coming your way this time. Right behind you. Fighting me, like everything else the hive made. Hold on. Oh great. I'm stuck in a trap. Yeah, yeah, melee. If you can't shoot it, just melee it. I'm getting annihilated by something. Yeah, it's a bit tougher in this one. Isn't it? <laughs> yep. That quick. The pattern here is yeah. chaotic. I think I figured it out. Just All one right, more room um, to crack. I think here on the bottom, there's going to be a couple of big ogres this time. Oh shit, there's splicers in here now. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. This yeah, that's, is, uh, that's definitely something you don't normally see here. Right, yeah. Yeah, especially the area after this, you're gonna notice some stuff that's pretty uh, heavily fortified. <laughs> oh my god, that was a horrible grenade. Oh, hello. Third player. Good. Yeah, at the at the end, like normal. <laughs> Almost, yeah. I think this this next area is. Uh, that scream reminds me how much I hate this place. As if I could forget. Watch your feet. There are traps everywhere.
that wizard in there. There's something I haven't seen before. Special ammo. It's like an ammo yeah. crate. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. yeah, we're going to have to find yeah, you'll way. find special and sometimes heavy care. ammo crates, you depending on the strike I need you in those summoning yeah, pits. Those will spawn out because you'll you need those. They come in very handy. And just as a general etiquette, if you like right now, that, am that ammo crate was still there. We had all the enemies cleared out before you take it. Just kind of hang over, hang by it for a few minutes, or a few seconds anyway, just to make sure nobody else wants it. Because you can take it, and nobody else has access to it. Ah. If everybody is standing around it, um, then everybody gets back. Oh, okay, uh, so it's a like a... critical thing in, in, Like an area, yeah, it's, it's an, an, an area benefit. In, right, exactly. So it's just courteous to other players. If you make, you know, give people a chance to come over there and kind of get it. Because you'll know. You'll see it. They'll come over there and come walk over to it. So it's just nice to uh, let them share their wealth, you know? A uh, very, very critical thing in PvP. Is you can take stuff in PvP where nobody else can nobody else can get it. Alright, so we're all three gonna jump on the ship up here. I don't think Shiro right, hurry. is literal, but okay. Right. Right. So now we're gonna jump down on the ship to your right. See another ship down here. And this one. This kind of harkens back to the uh, the Oryx raid. Um, you had to jump on these team ships to move around and stuff. Uh oh. All right, now let's jump through this hole up here. Ready to abandon ship. There you go. And let's just wait. This guy won't be able to revive himself. He's gonna have to wait 30 seconds before he can get back up. Right. I'm not sure where he died exactly, but. We'll be nice and we'll wait on. Looks like he might have fallen off the edge. Yeah, it happens. Or if people don't time the, the jump um, from the ship to this area, then it's, you'll see people that will fall. Or you'll see. Believe me, I know all too well about falling into pits. <laughs> oh man, it's. Uh, yeah, it's like a ride of passage. Thing. Yeah, he's about to jump level. This guy's new also. Could be a little bit behind you, actually. Yeah, who knows? I mean, he, he could be new and he just, you know, he used those oh, things. Oh, he missed it again. <laughs> He's jumping too early. Uh-oh. Yeah, he, he might be newer than me and he might have used his items to, you know, max out his character level. Yeah, who knows? But his grimoire is, uh, is pretty uh, equivalent to yours, <clears throat> so I just kind of figured he's probably been playing the game by the same time. I refuse to believe that there's anybody worse at this game than me. Oh, no. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> I still, all of even the players have been playing for a long time, they still make absolutely stupid silly mistakes here and there, so it's just part of it. <laughs> yes, my, my fiance says she's worse than <laughs> she's worse at it than me, but she doesn't play, so that doesn't count. <laughs> yep, oh, he, he left. Did. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll take we'll take this off. I'm detecting heavy splicer signatures. They're okay. already here. Uh, Get in there, Guardian. Don't tell me we're gonna have to fight a freaking splicer ogre. Monstrosity the hive are conjuring. No. <clears throat> this one moves. Uh, this one. Uh... The shriekers will come out of here, so you'll have those big purple spinny things in the air. Oh, great. I believe this one has the shriekers. Like, oh, yeah, it uh, wouldn't kill them. You can either dodge them or if you kill them, those little death blast things they have. They really suck. Yeah, those... yeah, I'm going to start sniping some of these knights if you're watching. Uh, let's get one of those sides here. I'll show you Firefly. Firefly. See that? No, I was kind of, kind of fighting off some Probably splicers. Yeah. <laughs> right, this guy's a squirt cannon. I know you're familiar with those. Just remember to aim, and if you with a squirt cannon, if you pick it up and you shoot it, hold down your trigger, 
and it will actually kind of cook on the uh, enemy, and it will do more damage when it explodes. So if you hold the trigger down after you shoot it, and let it sit you know, for a few seconds, and then you release the trigger, and it will do additional damage on, it, on that uh, enemy. There's a special ammo crate over there. I'm full on it though, so. But yeah, I'm good too. And I believe the special ammo crates will also drop primary. So if you get in those positions like I've seen you in before, where <laughs> if you're low on Oh, primary, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens quite often. <laughs> happen to, yeah. Yeah. And on some of the playlists, there's a modifier called Juggler, which you will learn to hate because there will be no drops for your uh, equipped uh, weapon. So if you're on auto rifle or primary and you're killing everything, you won't get primary action drops. <laughs> uh, so you have to switch weapons and uh, something else for primary ammo to drop. I just realized this guy's stomach is his weak spot. Yeah, I told you that a minute ago. I told you to shoot him in the belly. <laughs> Shows how much I pay attention. That's alright. You're doing something in the target. is very angry at the moment. And there I go, I died. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's the same guy that left. Same guy is back. <laughs> oh really? I, I didn't even take notice of that. Yeah, it's the same dude. Yeah. I wonder if maybe he didn't intend to leave. Maybe he lagged out. Open up, uh, that would give chest, the splicers a whole and there's some hunter tricks. specific gauntlets in there if you, if you have Sounds one of those like skeleton keys. Yeah, I don't have one. And yes, I, got it a, does. I got an exotic drop. Put a stop to it. Cool. Yeah, sadly, I do not have any of those skeleton keys. Yeah, you'll get them um, if you run the strike playlist. They're more, uh, they're more common. Than you can. Hey, got more precision kills than I did. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. No, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Of, you like scout rifles, and it's a lot easier to do with the scouts and, and high stability pulse rifles. It's, it's a lot easier to get those things. It's harder to do with a with an auto rifle, especially with a Zalo. Yeah. <clears throat> no. My my character's pretty well set up for the strikes right now, so I just ran whatever. Alright. 
What's next? All right, let's. Um, uh, we have a level thirty-six strike, which is uh, blighted chalice, which is part of the Taken King. Okay. Or we also yeah. have uh, the House yeah. of Wolves, the Shadow Thief, which is a level twenty strike. Okay. <clears throat> Let me try that one first. Sure. We can do either. I mean, we're, we're, we'll be we'll be okay in either one of them. But I, the Blighted Chalice is an interesting, uh, interesting strike. This uh, House of Wolves one, I have uh, the normal version of it unlocked. If you want to run that one rather than just the regular level twenty easy one. Um, whichever one you need for your progress. Um, it will be fine even on the hard one. It'll be fine. All right, we'll just go ahead and do that one then. Do you have a, a three coin? Do you have any three coin, or are you out? Uh, I have five because I only I only had enough um, enough strange coins okay. to buy five of them. So then I would use one right now, just one. Use it now. Because when we kill him, sure, yeah. Because anytime we kill one of these guys, there's a chance you'll get an exotic drop, which will be at your light level or higher. So you might actually be able to bring your light up you know, or to get you a new toy at least. All right. Um, let me go into my inventory here. And don't use multiple at a time. Like whenever you, you know, don't, it says they stack. Oh, no, 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 no. If the. Uh, no, I, I've, yeah, I've the never done stacks. that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I've, I'm smart enough to not do that. I use one. <laughs> okay. And then once I kill an ultra, I know it goes away. And then I use another one. So. Right. And some of the strikes, it doesn't work. Um, like if you get get into the uh, the omnigal strike, uh, that one uh, three a coin doesn't work. So if you have one active and you go into that strike, and once you complete it, your three a coin is still active because it doesn't work in that strike. As well as the uh, the flares, um, the, I think it's called the dust palace. Um, I don't know if you've done that one yet, but that strike. Uh, you uh, the three coin doesn't work there because you're you're kind of killing three bosses essentially <clears throat> and that one not just one so i guess that's the reason it doesn't work uh in that particular strike right is that is that the one on some uh, really cool i think that's the one it's on mars oh is it on mars yeah because I, I know there's uh, one in um strike. on oryx's ship there's one where you fight like three you fight three guys at once three of the cabal the cabal leaders or whatever Oh, uh, I think you're talking about the uh, the Shield Brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shield Brothers. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's yeah there's two of those guys, and uh, that strike really sucks when it's uh, Solar Burn Week. <laughs> That's a really tough strike to do when it's uh, when it's Solar. Um, but oh, back to the uh, the Dust Palace one. Um, if you get you know if you're able to get you some skeleton keys. Open up the chest at the end of the Dust Palace because there are some hunter unique items in there. Devil uh, have you there there's three of the, the of the bosses there. Each one is a different Tenex flavor. Has um, and if you open up that uh, that chest, Tenex's there's a chance, a uh, pretty good chance, splices. that you'll get a, uh, a cloak. Uh, one of the, what they call a flare mantles. Uh, and they'll, they're, they're, real, they're bright, they glow, they're cool looking. And it's a hunter specific thing. So those are some of my favorite hunter items is from the flare mantles. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know Zer had uh, Zer had a helmet that was hunter specific that gave um, I forget what it gave. Cave step. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the graviton forfeit. That's a uh, that's a, a helmet that is best used with the uh, with the shadow uh, stalker or whatever or the tether uh, hunter. Uh, also, please advise on this one. Don't jump. Just run on the ground or fall because if you Jump, those creatures up there will become active and start shooting you. I'm not sure why a lot of people don't know that because every time I start to strike with somebody, they always start to jump around and those creatures, those creatures, uh, treakers start shooting. Okay, um, this guy's a friend of mine that just joined us all of a sudden. <laughs> Very high level player, especially in PvP. Where is that? This is. 
sorry about that. For future reference, I'll uh, I'll go offline <laughs> before I no, that's... jump in a game with you. It's all good. I did expect it to jump in. <laughs> Some heavy ammo up here, which I need. Yeah, I need too. So, okay. either one of us can pick it up as long as we're in proximity to it. We both get it. Through this, so we can get over it around the doorway to the left. Top of the tree is getting in front of it. Oh my, I just got ripped apart by Thrall. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Purposes, you can clear out that room if you like. Uh, most people can just run through all this whole area because they don't really need that to be. Yeah. Oh, and just for future reference, um, if, if, if I die a lot, it's because I'm being a distraction, so you guys can, you know, do your thing. So, you're being distracted, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I I'm, I'm trying to distract the enemy so you guys can, you know, do your thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Three different times, I think. Not alive. Perhaps he never was. Until, uh, you find him at the very, very end. Yeah. Uh, Kulsik is using the Shadow Stalker, so you can see how it kind of tethers. And in this case, you can go up the lift. Tanix's Maybe jamming field is still active. Your we'll await your light on the other side. Over here. Now, in this next area, I would, uh, you can do what you want. I would recommend hanging back here towards the back. I am going to run forward. You'll just stay back in here on this level. I'm going to run forward and clear out this other area. Kind of get a jump on. Right, I may actually die. Super too soon. Yep. Oh, good. Sorry. Oh, look, I died too. That's all right. I'll take, I'll take care of you. This is a good guy right here to, to take through uh, raids, so when the time comes, I'm going to start doing some raid stuff. I got some decent sniper shots on him. 
Good. You'll need a sniper rifle here in this next part because we're going to have to kill a walker indoors. Oh, fun. Yeah, and the walkers, in case you don't know, you shoot their legs to bring them down. And then once they're down, uh, shoot their, what would be their neck, because that becomes a good spot when they're down. Yes, I did read that on the uh, the message that you posted, which okay. is which is really, <laughs> yes, it's really helpful. <laughs> Yeah, it, I mean, because if not, they're just bullet sponges. Right. Yeah, you'll get burned through all your ammo trying to... Uh, trying to oh, look, there it is. Yep. Oh, it's immune at the you moment. Just do your thing here. I'm going to... Uh, if it starts to shoot, fail. Run. Just do it right here. So, we'll go one side here. Loaders coming up. You're good. Just let me know for future reference that Alright, I am out of special ammo. Okay. Uh, come over here in this tunnel where I'm at and use your primary because there's some guys hanging over here in this tunnel. Kill some of them and hopefully they'll drop you some. I went all the way up, yeah. <laughs> you might want to back out a little bit. <laughs> you get too far forward and you find yourself in a pretty tough spot. Okay, I got more ammo, finally. And once the walker is uh, dead, I'm gonna come this way with caution because there's oh, lots of geez. knives and stuff like that. He just freaking destroyed me. Yeah. I mean, I, I distracted right him here. for you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Alright, I got the streaker down. Yeah, this, it's not the streaker so much as the death blast. After you kill them, they shoot out those purple orbs that will track you. And with the best the best thing to do is just to outrun them. Just to run in whatever direction. Uh, if they hit you, a lot of times they'll... Oh, I know. They, they deal some massive freaking damage. See. Once we enter this tunnel here... The uh, Thanix is going to show up at the very end of it. Throw grenades at him and it helps him. Depending on how much damage you do at him, you see him right here. Sometimes he will show up right around the corner. And you can usually tell by looking at your radar and make this turn. Yeah, he's there. have to kind of fight him around the corner for a little bit, put a little more damage on him before he actually goes into the tunnel. But if you hit him hard enough at the, that long tunnel, he won't actually be able to carry it right here. He will go all the way into the tunnel. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, if this is going to be the... I think it is. 
Maybe the Seed Room. So in this one, you put damage on them here at first. And then you're going to see these red, see the cluster blooms show up. Be real careful where you're at right now. But once we put enough damage on here. Oh, Jesus, he just spawned on top of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's the seed on power. Okay, so now we have to kill or destroy all those red balloons first four we can put bandage on it. So you know, you're dealing with ads, you have to go through it. This is where the shadow you know, is a better hunter because you can actually do a lot of really good crowd control. And it can create a lot of orbs. So you can actually super come back to get all those orbs and you ready to super again pretty quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> My last bullet freaking hit him and he nice. died and I died. <laughs> Hey, he dropped a uh, an exotic. The nanites continue. Oh, it's a good one. Yes, nice. I did. The guardian will have plenty of opportunities to study Siva. The devils are far awesome. from defeated. An exotic heavy. It's probably something I already have, so. Ah, uh, you never know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. It's true. Could be a sniper rifle, or not a sniper rifle, a uh, rocket launcher. I know you don't really care for launchers too much, but oh man. No, I've actually never, I've never, I've never used one. I mean, I have the, because obviously when I bought the pack, I got like a level three iron Gallarhorn, but I can't use it. It says oh, I, yes. it says I need a, I need a, a level three Gallarhorn or a year three or something like that in order yeah, to use it. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you got to find the, um, um, air quotes, find the old version of the gallon horn first i believe so in a way it's almost sort of like a skin i guess uh yeah because you know the gallon horn was like the most popular weapon most powerful weapon in the game in, in uh, year one until the update stuff started coming out so yeah let's go to the tire and see what you got oh hey i like his ship kind of good as you got 
His ship is very, uh, yeah. very angel esque. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can buy that one through uh, expensive. It's like five thousand glimmer, I think, or maybe more. Yeah, that's not that expensive. And in the reef. Yeah. And I think you can get it as a crest, crest quest reward too. I don't remember now. Do you still? Oh, by the way, do you still have that Vestian Dynasty sidearm? The Vestian Dynasty. Uh huh. I saw you pick it up uh, a few episodes back. I'm anyway. If, I might. if you still happen to have it, I, I would hang on to it just because if you delete it, I don't think you can get it anywhere else in the game ever. So it's just if you're a collector, you might want to hang on to it just because you can't get it. You can dismantle it. I think. Yeah, who knows? I, I think I might have been stupid and like dismantled it. <laughs> That's all right if you did. Um, right. let me see here, cause yeah, I don't, I don't have any. Wait. Yeah, the only, the only sidearms that I have are uh, Anton's rule and mm -hmm. uh, the palindrome. Oh, nice. What's the? That's a good hand cannon, actually. That's a yeah. The palindrome is a hand cannon, not a sidearm, but. Oh yeah um, yeah yeah. Hand that's a that's a good pistol. That's a, I would hang on to that one depending on the roll. Um. Uh, a lot of people really like that. Let me see like what it has. Cannon. It's got um. Well, it's got three different scopes. Um. Mm -hmm. Relentless tracker, Icarus, uh, reinforced barrel, high caliber rounds. And third eye. Okay. It's all right. Uh, third eye is nice. Um, because if you'll notice, whenever you're using your primary and you're aiming down sights, your ADS, you, you lose your radar. Um, if you have a weapon that has third eye and they have that node activated, when you're aiming down sights on, your, on that weapon, you will keep your radar up, so it's kind of easier to see what's keeping out, what's going on around you as you're actually shooting the, shooting the, uh, the deal. So that's kind of nice. One of my sniper rifles, I forget which one. It might actually be. I know one of my sniper rifles had uh, third eye. Yeah. Oh yeah, I my find it, my my. I find it's pretty helpful. My patience and time sniper rifle has uh, third eye. Uh huh. Yeah, I find it really handy on primary stuff, um, just because when I'm primary, it's usually when I'm in the mess of everything. So I, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a good perk. I like it. Um, so I look for weapons that have it on there. Um, when you get it more into the Rise of Iron, they have artifacts that you can get in the uh, at Fell Winter Peak. Um, one of which is <clears throat> uh, something I have to look up the name of it. I have it. I just can't remember the name of it. Anyway, it, it grants you third eye on everything, so you are, or on all your primaries, I believe. So no matter if your weapon has it or not, you maintain a radar on at all times, unless there's a modifier that uh, prevents you from from doing that. So when you get into some of the strike playlists, they put modifiers that are universal. So if you have a third eye and they have the uh, modifier on there, called. Uh, Shaft. And nobody has their radar, and that really sucks. Like that's what's going on this week. Oh hey, shit! I got a Nemesis star. Oh good, nice heavy, it's nice solar heavy. Yep. I actually have um, I have some ornaments for that. Oh. Well, at least I didn't. Uh, at least I didn't get something that I already had. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's see here. Mm. Nemesis Star. <clears throat> yeah, Coltic sent me a message saying, tell your friend I'm down to help with whatever he needs. Same goes for you. And might not be on too long. <laughs> yeah, all right. So he's down around with this for whatever we need, so we don't have to pick up a random guy. All right, cool. Let's see here. I've got to dismantle my exotics. See what I got. Did the same thing. Dragon's Breath. All right. 
in a couple weeks. So. I could have swore I had. I could have swore. Wait, is that it? Oh, okay, there it is. I have the silver bullet ornament for the Nemesis Star. Mm-hmm. I think that's the one that makes it look like a submarine when you turn when you when you turn that uh, ornament on. It looks it makes it look like a sub. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but maybe when you maybe you will agree. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Makes it look very rustic and old and kind of beat up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice heavy though. It's a good heavy machine gun. It has two barrels. Does it actually shoot two bullets at once? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't used it that much. <laughs> it's good. I just I have other other weapons that I prefer more than that one. That aren't exotic, so they don't take up an exotic slot. It says it has extinction yeah, extinction cycle. Uh on trigger pull this weapon's initial burst has a higher rate of fire. And strange gravity. When holding down the trigger, range and accuracy increases as of fire de as rate of fire decreases. Uh, kills grant bonus grenade energy. All right. I'll have to try it out eventually. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a go. You might like it. But this episode's run on for like an hour, so I'm gonna cut the episode here and then okay. and then we'll. Uh, We'll pick it up from there then. All right. Okay. Sounds good. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Destiny Blind. And uh, special thanks to Slow for helping me out here. And he will be in the next episode anytime, as well. Anytime. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, guys, later.